The men's basketball team at Yale has qualified for the NCAA tournament for the first time in 54 years. They will play Baylor in the first round. It should be a time of celebration for Yale, but there is also scandal. Here's Jerika Duncan. No good. And your Ivy League champions for 2015-16. When the Yale Bulldogs advanced to the tournament this year for the first time since 1962, the team danced into the national spotlight. But that light is now shining hard on the team's ex-captain, Jack Montague, who was apparently expelled a few weeks ago amid rumors of sexual misconduct accusations. James Jones is the head coach. We just circled the wagons. You know, in a situation like this, you got to come in closer together, believe in each other, and fight harder. What are you telling your team as you all prepare for the NCAA tournament? Well, I'm just saying go out and have some fun here. Getting this far should have been especially rewarding because the Bulldogs just missed the tournament last year, losing to Harvard by two points. Back then, they were missing 6'6 forward Brandon Sherrod, who took last season off to travel with Yale's a cappella group, the Whiffin Poofs. This year, he's back. All that energy and all the things he learned through interaction all over the world has come back to help our basketball team with his leadership. But now they've lost their captain, and because the team supports him, they've also lost support from some of their classmates. After the team wore T-shirts to the Ivy League championship game with Montague's nickname, posters appeared on campus warning the Bulldogs to stop supporting a rapist. Helen Price is the director of Unite Against Sexual Assault Yale. To show support in the most public and provocative way possible, you know, it was a nationally televised game, and I think that's very, very irresponsible. The team later apologized. Is it frustrating at all as a coach when you've worked this hard and the headline isn't necessarily focused on the team and what you've accomplished? I can't tell you how happy I am in terms of what we've accomplished with this group of young men, knowing that we completed what we set out to do at the start of the season. The players say they hope to use their positions on and off the court in a way that can make everyone proud. And Jeff, the New Haven police said today that there are currently no cases involving Montague. Jerika Duncan, thank you very much.